Hey, Alex here. It took me several weeks, but I finally figured out how to create this word by word captions all in Premiere Pro for free using our new free tool, called the Transition Helper in the Phantom plugin. This honestly took much longer to figure out to create, but yes, it's free to download and to use as part of our plugin. It's not a perfect solution yet, but we are working on that. But I think if you always wanted these word by word captions, that's pretty popular with shorts. You can now do that in Premiere Pro. And this plugin is going to help you work with transitions so much more easier. Honestly, all I need you to do is like, subscribe, because this was an absolute headache and this took weeks to build. This might be a little bit longer, but I'm going to put my whole thought process behind building this tool because I think it will be the best way to explain what's going on, how it works, and the reasoning behind some of the features that I've added, and the reason why some features work the way that they do. For this, you do need Premiere Pro version 25.5 as it utilizes film impacts effects and transitions to create these caption effects. So I'm going to structure this video starting with the problem and then the solution and what you can and can't do as I want to be completely honest of what this can actually do. So any feedback would be absolutely amazing. This is a current issue that I've realized after making the smooth text animation video. In that video, I used a text animator tool. However, the issue is, if you're working with captions, for example, like a short form video, you can't just copy and paste the transition effect on all the clips to get the intended effect, as it looks something like this. I'm gonna copy the text animator effect I had from a previous video, and I'm gonna add it to the sequence here. I'm gonna hold Command and select all my clips and paste it on all the sequences. And let's play back. You can see the text going in and out, and this isn't the intended effect that I want. I just want the effects to go in and maybe have a different transition coming out. We also had a problem for some reason that we can't just change the alignment of the cut. It has to be one particular cut because all these clips are aligned together, just as you can see here. And that is a problem. Yes, there are some transitions that you can just toss in and it'll look pretty good at the start. For example, if I go to my effects and click pop, we can see, find pop motion impact. We can add to this clip and then I can click on it, copy, hold command and drag to all my clips and paste the exact same transition onto all my clips. So now it looks something like this, which is not bad. However, personally, a lot of them can be improved with a bit more control. And honestly, I just want an option where I can just drag and drop, copy and paste without going into each clip to change the settings, whether that is durations or the effect properties. And that's when I realized there is also a new effect called the typewriter effect, which by itself is great on titles. For example, we have a title like this. We can then go to effects, find typewriter impact, drag it onto our clip. Let's zoom in, drag it out. We have an easy to use typewriter effect right in Premiere. But if we are working with captions, we're gonna have this issue. I have a sample video that I have already transcribed. I'm gonna select the captions that I have, go to graphics and titles, and upgrade to caption to graphics. We have the graphics on, on top here, and I'm just gonna apply the default transition that I have, which is the typewriter effect, by pressing Shift D. And let's see how that looks. This isn't the intended effect that I want because the text is going in and out. And if you zoom in and click on the effect, even changing it, we can't have it just at the start of the cut, which is a problem. And whatever you do, it's just going to go in and out. With the new film impact tools in Premiere Pro, there are so many useful transitions and effects to create better looking captions. If you've been using Premiere Pro for a while, well, caption animations isn't really a strong point, but I'm working on that. So what's the solution? This on the side here is the Phantom plugin to help editors edit quicker. We do have a free tier where you have access to these three different tools. You have Doppel Copy and Paste, where you can paste clipboard item directly into Premiere. We also have a silence remover and our latest tool, the Transition Assistant. What the Transition Assistant does is it's going to help you apply and remove transitions to all your clips. I think the best way to showcase what it does is I'm just going to show you what it does. In here, I have my previous Move Text video where in order to create majority of the titles, I have to manually move all the layers into a different video track to apply the text animated transition. And in this case, I had to stack titles on top of each other to get this intended effect. But what we're gonna work on is slightly more simple, but I think you can get the idea. We're gonna start out with the stagger clip tool. We're gonna select all our clips and we're gonna click stagger. This is going to help move every editor clip up one track. And if you want to undo it, just select the top clips, hold Option on your computer and press down and it'll set the clips back down. Again, let me show you one time. I'm gonna select them all and stagger. I'm gonna go back here and click on the text animator effect that I had used in my previous video. And I'm gonna click on Control V to paste it and adjust the timing slightly. Now I can click on the same effect, copy, holding command or control on your computer and selecting all the clips, you can apply the same transition on all the boundary points of your clips and control and command V to paste it. And as you can see, I have the transition pasted on, on the boundaries and it's going to look something like this now. And you might be wondering, hey, what the heck is still going in and out? How can we fix that problem? 
Don't worry, we also have a solution for that, which in this case, we're gonna go to our second tool here, Remove Transition, and it pretty much does exactly what it does, helps remove transitions. So we have the option to remove the transition on the front of the clip, at the back of the clip or on both sides. So if you go over here, you can select the clip. And for example, I just wanna remove it at the end of the clip. You can go over here and click remove transition and all the transitions at the end of the clips are going to be removed. And it's gonna look something like this now. It's not bad. Um, you can also remove it at the front of the clip. Let's do that. And if you want, we can apply our default transition. In this case, it is our text writer effect. So I'm gonna press Shift D and apply our typewriter effect. And as you can see, it's going in and out again. So I'm just gonna select all of it. I really don't want the end portion of the transition. So I'm gonna click end clip and remove transition. And now we have something like this which is a little bit better. The whole point of staggering the clips is that we're gonna prevent creating that unmovable center cut between the batteries of the clips. So let me remove all of it, move this back down, and let's apply the default transition again. And as you can see, we have this effect. Now let's stagger it again and remove all the transitions. And now we're gonna to go to my favorite part, which is the transition effects apply. This is going to help apply Premiere's default transitions onto your clips. And you have the option to apply to the front and the end. And what's great about this, you can apply based on clip length duration, or you can manually choose the applied duration that you want on all the clips. I'm gonna click on 50% for this case, and I'm gonna select all my clips again and apply the transition. It's gonna measure each clip individually and apply the intended effect on each clip based on the duration. And you might know where I'm getting with this because this is actually really cool. So now it look, you can do something like this. And for example, hey, that's pretty cool, but I want my end transition a little bit different. So I can go here, search for say pop in motion impact Actually, I like to use it cross dissolve for this case, and I'm gonna apply it on the end of the clip, and I'm gonna change it to 10% of the clip, select them all again, and apply. And now we have a typewriter effect and a dissolved transition at the end to help with captions. So with this, it's going to open up a lot of possibilities for how you wanna manipulate your captions or your titles, and the options are actually endless at this point, but there are some bugs, of course, that I'm trying to fix later down the road. If you don't like the transitions that you have added, I can select all the clips again, hey, I wanna change just the front of the clip. I can go on here and remove transition at the front. And I still have the transitions at the back, although it is pretty subtle. But I can also go here. I wanna use the text animator effect. So click on this, apply it to the front. Let's make this maybe 30% and let's apply it. And now we have the text animator effect at the front. But the issue with this is it's only going to allow you to use Premiere's default transition. So if you have a custom preset, the only way that you can add this at the moment, if you go into the clip itself, effects and controls, and change it to whatever settings that you want, copy, and then you can paste it all on the sequence using command and select and pasting them all again. That's the only way you can do that at the moment. I'm sorry, I tried. Um, but hopefully I can figure out a solution to make this a little bit more intuitive. So now that you know how the tool works, how are we gonna create that word by word captions? In text, I'm just gonna transcribe my audio and we're gonna use the default for now. And we're gonna use single and we're gonna adjust it to maybe, I don't know, 37. And we're gonna keep this pretty default for the time being and create captions. After that is done, we're gonna select here. I'm gonna to go to properties and change it to the intended text that I want. In this case, it's gonna be inter black because I enjoy using that. I'm just gonna adjust the settings a little bit. Maybe let's keep it 60, go down. Let's make this a little bit higher. And like at the middle, I have my caption selected. Now I'm gonna to go to graphics and titles, upgrade caption to graphic. And we're gonna select this and we're gonna actually duplicate it by holding option and bringing it down one track lower. So we have two of the same titles in this section. Now at the bottom section, I'm just gonna highlight this and we're gonna change the fill color to maybe something like a light gray. And we're gonna see how that looks. Sure, why not? Going down, let's increase the opacity of the background, increase the size of the background, and we're gonna change the background to maybe this, I don't know, green color. Completely random here, and adjust the corners just a slight bit. I'm gonna turn on the visibility back on the top captions, select the top, we're gonna go down, we're gonna click the stagger option, which is going to stagger the clips, select all the clips again, and this time we're gonna go to here, and we're gonna type in 
typewriter that hopefully comes up. And yes, it does. I find that 80% is pretty good for what I'm looking for. And I'm going to apply based on the clip length at the front of the clip and apply. And bam, let's see how this looks like. Hey, Alex here. As you can see, I am outside. If you find anything useful, please make sure to like and subscribe. We are a pretty new channel. We create editing tutorials, plugins, features. So if there's something that you want to see in Adobe Premiere, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Subscribe to our newsletter because you might get a discount. And yeah, thanks for watching. This is exactly how you create that word by word caption effects. What I find really cool about this tool is you can select all of it and change the sizing as well. And the sizings will change and you have a lot of control with the sizing. As you can see previously before, I noticed that when there was two lines, the effect didn't work as well as before. And I guess you can try to have your, all your captions onto one single line and the intended effect would be a lot more better than having it on double lines. And just for the heck of it, let's go to the bottom of the track and let's turn this off. So you can see the, the typewriter effect by itself without having it in the background. You can turn it back on and we can also change the effect. Let's say we want the top motion effect. That's a pretty cool effect that I've been noticing and we're going to add it to the front of the clip 80 percent hey alex here as you can see i am outside if you find anything useful please doesn't look that good with the background so we're just going to turn off the background please make sure you like hey alex here as you can see i am outside if you find anything useful please make sure you like and subscribe you are so if you want this free plugin make sure you download it from our website you just have to make an account go to your user dashboard and you can download and click and install and it will install right away and hopefully you won't have any issues um you can only use default transitions in this toolbar unfortunately that's the case with premiere i'm trying to figure out a way where you can use your custom presets but kind of the only solution that i can think of at the moment if you're a programmer and you know that there's a different method i can use uh, leave it in the comments below or join our discord but yeah let me know if this tool is useful and if you enjoy this video again please like share subscribe and hopefully make my time worth it for building this thing all these weeks honestly i thought maybe a couple of days would work but yeah this took way longer than i thought see you guys in the next video